The overall goal of this procedure is to study microcirculation in the mouse brain by intravital microscopy, which allows tracking dynamic changes in hemodynamic and inflammatory markers in the pile microcirculation over extended periods of time. This technique was developed at La Jolla Bioengineering Institute, where it was used for many types of studies. For instance, the follow-up of hemodynamic changes during the course of Plasmodium burgii onca infection and at the time of expression of cerebral malaria. This is accomplished by first implanting a chronic cranial window two weeks prior to the intravital microscopy studies. The second step of the procedure is to record the overall morphology of the cranial window using a high-resolution digital image at low magnification. The third step of the procedure is to acquire intravital microscopy images using conventional and fluorescent illumination and to select specific study sites for online measurements of vessel diameter and RBC velocity. The final step of the procedure is to perform intravital analysis of leukocyte and platelet adherence in the pile vessels via fluorescent labeled specific antibodies. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show in vivo microcirculatory changes in cerebral murine models of physiological, pathophysiological, or diseased conditions through brain intravital microscopy to establish hemodynamic changes associated with these conditions. The main advantage of this technique is that we observe the brain in its physiological environment without exposing it to external agents or artificial medium. Intravital microscopy, compared to Image magnetic resonance and angiography has a spatial and temporal resolutions and allow us to look from the microscopic to the microscopic level. Now, this method can help to answer key questions in the physiology and pathophysiology of brain microcirculation, such as hemodynamic and inflammatory.